What's going on everybody? My name is Jordan. I am so excited to share this with you guys. I have been giddy all day because this came out. Now, most of you guys know what Waves is. Most of you guys have some Waves plugins somewhere. Some of you use them all the time, like I do. Uh, they released this really cool plugin a while back called Studio Rack. Uh, it's free. It allows you to be able to stitch multiple waves plugins together. Uh, not only can you stitch multiple waves plugins together, but you can also um, macro out um, different parameters, uh, maybe even multiple parameters from different plugins all within a specific knob. Very similar to the way that the combinator works, which is cool. Uh, also allows you to do parallel processing um, between, you know, different frequency uh, uh, areas. So if you wanted, you know, everything from 4K to 10K to have, uh, you know, the red, the R-E-D-D, the red uh, console saturation, you could do that. Uh, which is nice, you know, th these are all, you know, really neat types of things. Um, but it's not necessarily exactly helpful for what reason needs because, you know, there you go. I mean, we have this, but they did something amazing. They did this. I don't know if y'all can read this part, but... For those of you who can't read, new can host Waves plugins as well as non-Waves VST3 plugins. So then I took a gander down here and went to tech specs. And I was like, oh, are you serious? Bro, okay, because let me explain something. So Blue Cat Audio already has patchwork. Uh, if we Google uh, Blue Cat Audio patchwork, see how much this costs. It's $79. Ah, no, it's $99 right now. Guys, I'm just telling you, this is free. You have to answer a little um, uh, questionnaire talking about what type of music you do. But the, you can download this right freaking now. Like, you don't have to pay any money. This is huge. This is massive for everybody using Reason. I know people are still like, ah, the next version is going to have VST3, all this stuff. It's like, okay, be that as it may, you can do this right now and you don't have to buy the new version of Reason. That's the key. Because it's like, for, now I'll tell you this much, this is VSC effects only, I'll be straight up honest from the beginning. It claim, it seems like it's possible you might be able to use, I mean, and I haven't really tested it, because when you go here and you're trying to look for, like if I go all the way down to Waves, it doesn't work. It doesn't have that thing there. So I think this is really only going to be for effects. But the fact that you don't have to buy the next version of Reason to be able to get VST3 effects, because it's like, yeah, there are a bunch of people who want, you know, specific synths, all that kind of stuff. If those, if that's what you want, that's fine. I don't care about that, honestly. I don't know enough about the synths to even really have a preference, honestly. Effects, I do. So... Once you have the plugin installed, all you have to, and you, you guys know how to do this. Uh, all you need to do is open it up, you click, and then it's got, uh, actually up here in the uh, hamburger menu, you can change the GUI size, but if you go down to VST3, you can scan plugins, you can scan a single plugin, set the plugins folder, which is nice, clear caches and rescan. That's all really, really helpful stuff. But all you have to do is hit plus here. I already know that like, so germanium, for example, I, it's funny, I bought this plugin knowing full well I wasn't going to be able to use it in Reason. But it was that cool, it was that good, but it was just like, ah, well, too bad. So bad. Wish you could use it. Now, I'm in, so, and all I can, so the only issue is you can't, you can't keep two windows, I mean, you can keep multiple windows open at the same time, so if you do it like that way, but this is going to close as soon as I do another one. So like if I open a EQ, for example it's gonna close that out. But um, as you can see, if I run this loop, works as expected, which is insanity. I, like I said, you, maybe you guys are not tracking with me. This is free, you can do it now, you do not have to buy another version of Reason to get this functionality. That's awesome. 
I'm not, I haven't even gotten into all this stuff where you can have an input and output depending on what. So like, if, for example, if I go back to Germanium, what I could do if I wanted to do this, what I could do. So I've got Germanium here, right? So it'll automatically scan all of the plugins, um, specific things that it, you know, that it can do like see all this so i can change the input level um you know the boost itself so i can say the volume for the boost so um and i think you might potentially be able to see this working yeah there we go so there's doesn't really seem to be a lot of delay i don't even think there is any but you can do that which is cool you know um but like i said the fact that you can even run it at all is just amazing it is just, just, just incredible. I am so happy with Waves for doing this because, like I said, I there were there are whole plugins I just can't use in the way of effects. Uh, one of them that I wanted to use was um, Amped Roots. This is a VST3 plugin. Never able to use it anywhere but in Cubase. There you go. This is Fluff's. Um, it's based off of his uh, EVH, I'm pretty sure. Um, so this is just really freaking cool that that they that they opened this up. They didn't have to. That's the other thing. They did not have to open it up to other plugins. They could have locked it down, or they could have said, if you want this functionality, it costs you ninety nine dollars. I'm just saying, this is a really freaking amazing thing that they did for us uh, on the in the way of waves, and then the fact that they gave it the cross compatibility to because that was the other thing is I would have totally understood if they said we're not going to bridge VST2 to VST3. You still have to, you can open it up to all VST3 plugins, but we're only going to allow you to be able to use VST3 plugins on a VST3 host. But to be able to say VST3 plugins and a VST2 host is ridiculous. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. This is amazing. I'm gonna be doing multiple other videos talking about a lot of the other things that this opens up. Uh, not just for this particular situation, for lots of other types of situations, uh, audio wise. So thank you guys so much for watching and, uh, enjoy VST3 plugins for free without doing anything weird in reason. I'm in reason 11 still. So in reason, whatever you want. Oh, before I go, do not, and I tried this, <laughs> do not do that do not do not do not do not try to open reason within reason do not do it i tried it i was busting up laughing do not do it it will break it do not even don't even go there but other than that have a freaking great time talk to you later you matter